Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 15. Today's lesson is on human viral diseases. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. First up is flu or influenza virus. Flu is caused by influenza virus which is a highly mutant virus. It generally spreads through ear via cough or sneezes. There are three main specimens or species influenza A, B and C. Out of them, influenza A infects birds and mammals. It has a very high rate of mutation and this is the reason that so many different strains of influenza virus are found. At first, they don't infect humans, but if they do so, they cause devastating pandemics. The common influenza outbreaks caused by influenza A strains include H1N1 or swine flu in 2009, H5N1 or bird flu in 2004. H1N1 is the same strain which causes seasonal outbreaks of flu in humans on a regular basis. A mutation of that is H1N1 swine flu. Since doctors have found it very hard to predict who will develop complications, they sometimes dub it Jekyll and Hyde virus. What is the meaning of H and N in flu? So there are various strains of virus and they differ in certain proteins. So hemagglutinin or HA and neuraminidase or Na proteins. So H for hemagglutinin and N for neuraminidase. The scientists give them different names based on this. Influenza B and C are less common and are less mutant in comparison to A. Hepatitis or jaundice. Hepatitis literally means inflammation of the liver. There are three major types of hepatitis virus, A, B and C. A is acute, meaning short term. B is acute as well as chronic. So it can be short term and long term, while C is almost always chronic. A spreads easily, B spreads relatively less easily, and C spreads rarely. A spreads via food, water, etc. and can infect many people at once. For example, if a food handler in a restaurant has hepatitis A, it can spread to many people. B only spreads by blood or other bodily fluids. C spreads only by blood. A usually gets better on its own but can be serious in older people. B is pretty common in India and Asia and Africa. C is a lot more dangerous. A and B can be prevented by vaccination but not C but there are medicines available to treat C. HIV Human immunodeficiency virus or HIV, also known as human T lymphotropic virus 3, lymphadenopathy associated virus and AIDS associated retrovirus. This is a retrovirus. Retroviruses are those that can replicate via reverse transcription in host cells. It transmits via anal, vaginal or oral sex, blood transfusion, contaminated hypodermic needles, exchange between mother and baby during pregnancy, childbirth or breastfeeding. Basically, any exchange of any sort of bodily fluid has a risk of HIV spreading. Due to weakened immune system, the person is attacked by infections caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, etc. that are normally controlled by the elements in our immune system. So HIV damages the immune system so that the body can't protect itself. What is the difference between human immunodeficiency virus or HIV and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome or AIDS? So the last stage, the most advanced stage of HIV infection is AIDS. The Center for Disease Control's definition of AIDS includes all HIV infected people who have fewer than 200 CD4 plus T cells per cubic millimeter of blood and healthy adults should have at least 1000 or more. The definition also includes 26 clinical conditions and mostly opportunistic infections that affect people with advanced HIV diseases. So opportunistic infections, that is infections which occur because the immune system is uh, compromised, are common in people with AIDS. Uh, it affects every organ and cancers such as Kaposi's sarcoma, cervical cancer, cancers of the immune system, also known as lymphomas, are common. Besides the people infected with AIDS often have systematic symptoms of infection like fever, sweats, particularly at night, swollen glands, chills, weakness and weight loss. Smallpox and chickenpox, starting off with smallpox. Smallpox is one of the three diseases 
the other two being guinea worm and polio that have been eradicated in india it is uh, caused by the variola virus smallpox was eradicated globally in the 1980s the virus has been used in biological warfare before that the british used smallpox as a biological warfare agent during seven years war in 18th century chickenpox is uh, caused by varicella virus or uh, varicella zoster virus it is also alternatively called varicella poliomyelitis or polio so polio virus is an enterovirus which means that the route of entry of this virus is through the gastrointestinal system it is a rna virus polio is usually spread via fecal oral routes so uh, basically unclean hands uh, which can have feces if that gets into food uh, people get infected by polio some cases there may be direct spread via oral to oral routes measles so measles is highly infectious illness caused by the rubella virus However, if uh, measles enters an area where the people have not been exposed beforehand, the result can be devastating. So, if you're once infected by measles, your body uh, creates antibodies which can fight measles in the future. Scientists have identified 21 strains of measles virus so far. Symptoms of measles can include watery eyes, sneezing, and a dry, hacking cough. There is no treatment for measles. Prevents, prevention is better than cure, so we have vaccination which prevents measles around the world. Rubella or German measles. So rubella spreads when infected people cough or sneeze. It causes rash, a slight fever, aching joints, headaches, runny nose and red eyes. The virus spreads through sneezes and coughs and can lead to serious birth defects if contracted by pregnant mothers. In 2015, the North and South America region became the first regions of the world to eradicate rubella. There are no homegrown cases in five years in those regions. Dengue. Dengue virus is transmitted by a bite of female mosquito of any of the two species of mosquitoes of the genus Aedes. The mosquito, which typically bites humans in daylight hours, can easily be recognized because they have peculiar white spotted bodies and legs. Outbreaks of the disease typically occurs in summer because mosquito population reaches its peak. Unlike mal malaria, which is a major health concern in rural areas, dengue is equally prevalent in urban areas. In fact, it usually happens more in urban and semi-urban areas. A severe form of infection is known as dengue hemorrhagic fever. DHF can be fatal and it causes severe joint pain, so it's also known as breakbone fever. DHF is characterized by uh, a fever that lasts for 2-7 to seven days with general signs and symptoms consistent with normal dengue fever. In addition to these symptoms, if a patient suspected with dengue experiences decrease in platelets or an increase in blood hematocrit, it becomes more certain that the patient is suffering from infection. So if you go for a dengue test, what they test for is platelet count. So platelets are cells in blood that help to stop bleeding, while hematocrit indicates thickness of blood. The smallest blood vessels become excessively permeable, allowing fluid components to escape from the blood vessels to organs of the body. This leads to failure of circulatory system, which might also cause death. Chikungunya. It's a disease uh, that is uh, caused by chikungunya virus and can be trans transmitted uh, via both Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus, which are both mosquitoes. These usually transmit the disease by biting infected people and then biting others, so quite similar to malaria. The infected person cannot spread the infection directly. Symptoms of chikungunya fever are almost uh, clinically similar to dengue fever. Only thing is the platelet count doesn't uh, decrease and shock is not observed. It is characterized by fever with severe joint pain, which is also known as arthralgia and rashes. Rabies. So rabies or hydrophobia is found among dogs, cats, bats and many wild mammals. The transmission to humans occurs through the saliva of contaminated animals, usually through bites. The rabies virus is neurotropic and attacks the central nervous system in a fast and lethal fashion. The prevention of the disease is done through 
prophylactic vaccination of animals and humans. The treatment is done with an anti-rabies serum containing specific antibodies which fights the virus. Yellow fever. Yellow fever is a viral infection that occurs mainly in Central Africa and in the Amazon region of South America. It is prevented through vaccination and is transmitted by many species of the mosquito of the Aedes genus, including Aedes aegypti. The infection causes clinical manifestations that range from asymptomatic cases to lethal fulminant cases. Generally, it begins with fever, chills, discomfort, headache, and nausea, evolves to jaundice, then uh, mucosal and internal hemorrhages, hemorrhagic vomiting, and kidney failure. Prevention is done by mass vaccination and vaccinating travelers who travel to endemic areas. The fight against vector mosquito is also an important prophylactic measure. Acute encephalitis syndrome. Encephalitis refers to acute inflammation of the brain. There are two main types of encephalitis, viral and Japanese. Viral encephalitis is caused by waterborne enterovirus. Japanese encephalitis is caused by mosquito Culex tretinorhynchus and Culex vishnoi. Every monsoon season outbreak of acute encephalitis syndrome or AES disease, Japanese encephalitis and viral encephalitis diseases, both of these make acute encephalitis syndrome. This disease is called a poor man's disease and affects largely paddy farmers. In conclusion, let's revise. Common cold is caused by a rhinovirus. Hepatitis is inflammation of the liver or jaundice. Rabies is transmitted by bites from infected bats, raccoons, dogs. Polio may cause paralysis. Smallpox was eradicated from the world in 1977 through vaccination. Yellow fever is a viral hemorrhagic fever transmitted by infected mosquitoes. That's all for this video. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel GK Today. Until the next video, goodbye.